Minister of Tourism and Aviation, the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar, is hoping that the partial shutdown of the United States government doesn't throw a monkey wrench into tourism arrival forecasts for the first quarter of this year. At least 80 percent of the Bahamas air arrivals numbers originate from the U.S., and officials are optimistic about the 2019 numbers. But right now, um, the Bahamas is expecting, based on our uh, information that we've been provided through our forward keys data. Uh, we're expecting um, January to be up by 16 uh, percent, February to be up, uh, this is air arrivals to the Bahamas, February to be up by 16 percent, March to be down by 2 percent because Easter falls in April this year, and April to be up by 16 percent. So we're expecting a very robust first quarter, um, which is very exciting based on what happened last year. So this is growth on top of growth. So I'm very excited to, uh, and I'm very encouraged, that uh, you know, tourism remains hot and, and, and things are continuing to grow. So uh, I don't want this government shutdown to throw a wrench uh, in what should be a, a, very first, a very excellent first quarter for the Bahamas. Now, the partial U.S. government shutdown is into day 26 now. It's resulted in the closure of terminals at several U.S. airports due to the absence of Transportation Security Administration or TSA officials who aren't being paid. The tourism minister is encouraging travelers to get to airports early. While um, at the Lyndon Pending International Airport, things are seemingly normal, um, one is always a little concerned about how long that normalcy will, will remain in place. Now, obviously, people who are traveling to the Bahamas from the United States, um, you know, have to, uh, are being now advised to arrive at the airport three hours um, uh, before their flight departs because, you know, a number of the security channels have been shut down. So where there were 10 lines, now there's nine, where there were at certain airports. Um, so, uh, you know, and, and I'm always worried that people are like, you know, I want to book a holiday, but all this confusion and drama that's going on when you travel, maybe I'll hold off until that all settles. I don't know how that will uh, affect uh, how people book vacations. I don't know if people will say, let me pause and let me see um, uh, uh, what, what, what happens before I, I make concrete plans. 